Hey everybody. What is up? Welcome back to 999. It's been quite a bit. Um, we mentioned, I think we said we would maybe um, at the time go through and do everything so we could see the true ending, um, you know, off camera. Um, that was quite a while ago. It just, it really didn't take that long. I just kind of kept forgetting about it. Um, yeah. So I finally, like I did one um, like door a while ago and then like a couple days ago, I decided to just sit down and do it all. Um, so our problem was we did everything right and we got this coffin ending, but because we didn't see the safe ending first, that meant that we didn't get to go see the true ending and we got a to be continued screen. So yeah, the, the ultimate tease. Yes. So I went back and I did the um, the other doors we needed to do to get the safe ending. I did examine the safe like back all the way um, in this first like branch here, I think. So we're gonna do this last escape room. Um, this is all new content at this point. Uh, we'll do the last escape room. We'll see the safe ending and hopefully that'll allow us to go into the true ending. Um, or I might have to do some more off camera if not. But yeah, that's where we're at. Um, I didn't mean to click that <laughs> um, because first I wanted to just really quick catch everybody up on what I did off camera. I took some notes on some things that seemed like they might be important. Um, I don't know if they'll come back or not, but I just want to mention them. So seven, I don't remember if we already knew this, but seven has amnesia. Um, when we were leaving door five, which is the first door you have to do on this, Seven propped it open just in case, he okay. said. He said he, like, stuck a broom in it or something, and that's where the safe is. The safe is obviously going to be important because that's the name of this ending. <laughs> um, and then we also, like, found a casino, did stuff in there. Nothing really happened in there. Um, Lotus got some new information about Lotus. Ooh. She is apparently a computer whiz. And she used to work at a cybersecurity firm. And she like And also according to uh whatever number that one dude was, like was it like five or some something like uh, that? I think we're five. That was it. Like the who was the big dude? Was that seven? Uh seven or ace. They're both pretty big. Okay, it's like seven. tall. But he was like she's she's so old. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so she's an old computer whiz. Uh, she used to work at a cybersecurity firm and she quit for some unknown reason. She was like weird about the reason. Um, she wouldn't really tell us why, but she like brute forced her way into like their computer systems. Okay. Um, Ace, he deduced that Zero must be on the ship because in the beginning, zero on the intercom he kept saying this ship instead of the ship or that ship or whatever yeah. so he believes zero is on the ship with us and then santa told this story about a lab experiment where rats were made to either find the exit to this maze or else they would drown and junpei was asked why did they have to drown why couldn't you just like motivate them with food and santa said you have to be confronted with a life or death situation um, in order for your full potential to emerge. Which makes it sound like he's uh, kind of in on this whole thing. That he knows why this is happening. Right. He seems to be trying to convince us that we need to be threatened with death in order for this experiment to be going well. Um, and Santa also had a sister. That's why he calls himself Santa Claus, because he raised her and had to be her Santa Claus. Um, but yeah, she was yeah. killed nine years ago. Oh my god, nine. Yep. So that is everything that seemed important that um, was new. So now we got this uh, escape room. I haven't started it. This is just the beginning. Um, I think I did two or three escape rooms. That's wait, was that, that dude's uh, nine, right? That was nine? Uh, yeah, I think so. The The very first guy who died. So this game, in going back through it, has a really nice feature that you can 
set it to fast forward through all the dialogue and then it stops anytime there's new dialogue. Okay. So, oh. Oh, hey, there's Clover. Yep. Oh, there's a. Uh, was it? Snake. Was he one? Uh, two. He's Snake Eyes. Got ya. Um. I by the way, I, one. I think we found out already that. Like, because we found his arm when he, like, quote unquote blew up. And yeah. we found out that it was actually, like, a fake arm. And, oh, uh. Yeah. Prosthetic, um, yeah. We found that out in, like, a different scenario on this route. Yeah, yeah. That's seven. Yeah. That big oaf. Yeah. Uh. Oh, so we probably have to put their, uh key cards each key card yeah each key card by number yeah well, we've got lotus all right uh what what number is lotus like she's three she's clover is four i think clover is four i think Lo lotus is three or eight, eight or five she's eight or five i think pretty right? sure we're five Oh, I guess I can't do it yet anyway. Because isn't... Oh, I gotta open... I gotta get all Santa, of them first. Isn't Santa 3? Uh... Yeah, I think you're right. Man, it's been like... Like, three months since we played this game. At least. Yeah. Like, like four months. It has. Um, I thought yes, about... And I... Mm -hmm. And I still remember the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought about maybe like doing the uh, second game, the sequel to this game. But yeah. while this game has, at least on how long to beat, it's like eight hours. That game is like 40 hours. <laughs> so I was like, maybe not. <laughs> is that how long to complete or like actually beat? Just beat. Wow. Yeah, that one's much longer apparently i mean this was a ds game whereas that was a vita game yeah. um so that could have something to do with it i don't know like can you actually like, walk around it or something um i don't know i haven't even like um seen any footage of it or whatever because like if it was just 40 hours of them constantly reiterating the same thing to me again and again i would freak out <laughs> I don't know. I've heard it's very good though. Yeah. So if it's like this this code only uses consonants. And and consonants don't have vowels. <laughs> we got to we have to use the consonants and not vowels this time. Yeah. Just over and over again, I would freak out. I would I hope would like flip maybe the escape rooms were a little more fleshed out because like these ones can be fun but i do kind of feel like you mostly are just brute forcing your way through it because like you just find what you can click on and click on it you know yeah but i mean isn't that isn't that what escape rooms are though just brute forcing your way through it most of them anyways yeah i don't know i'll probably play through that on my own at some point though but yeah, I don't think we're going to record that one. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody wants to play them, though, they like go on sale for like dirt cheap. Like the yeah. this game like plus that game together kind of was like less than five. Like, oh, couple, was it? like within the last couple of months. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Because this, this was on sale for what? Like this was on sale for like two or three dollars when you bought. Um. Yeah, I don't remember. It was pretty cheap. Yeah. It was a while ago, though. I thought they had, like, a bundle. I think it was, like, less than 10 bucks for, like, all of the Zero Escape games. Yeah, probably. There's a third game that's, like, not really related to these two, but it takes place technically in between this one and then the sequel. But it's thought yeah. of as more of, like, a spinoff. Is that the Zero Mission or whatever it's called? Zero, uh time escape i believe yeah wasn't that on a 3ds 
Um, I think so. I think that they were all on 3DS at some point and Vita. It's um, strange that they really just made these games for uh, like the handhelds. Well, you know, we haven't seen it yet, but apparently the true ending for this game um, hits a lot harder if uh, you have um, if you're playing it on a DS. So much so that okay. a lot of people recommend playing the game on DS, even though that one doesn't have any voice acting and stuff. Yeah. Um, but they say it's worth it just for the ending. So it makes me, I'm very curious to know why. Um, I'm sure yeah. like even though we're not playing on a DS, it'll be obvious why it would be like better on a DS or whatever. Yeah. Do I not have all nine yet? I got uh, eight. You have eight. You're missing, missing? Ace. 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 All right. Um. Where have Ace, I missed? Where's the card? Pretty sure you got all those. What? <laughs> what? The all fuck? right, man. <laughs> June Pie, get out of here. <laughs> or June Pay. Yeah. June Pay. Yeah. All right. Okay. I feel like it's got to be something to do with this because, like, can't really do, like, anything yeah. else now. I wonder if it's, like, when can you can you use the nine card on here somewhere? Um, it doesn't seem like it. It said these are, we can insert something in these. I wonder and this is covering if, like, something. like, if that's, like, the final thing you have to do. I wonder if, like, if you open the, the safes, then you get, like, the pins that go in there. Yeah, maybe. But we gotta find... Just one, one more oh, card. There we go. Never hit that. All right, so we got all nine now. All right. Now we finally have all nine picture cards. Yes. We just need to insert these cards into the slots at the front of each box. Yes, of course. You know which card goes in which box, yes? Yeah. Do they think we're children? Put on auto. Of course I do. It's really obvious. Is that what's happening here? They think we're children. Oh, yeah. Obviously. Only children play video games. What? Even though I'm pretty sure this game is rated M. <laughs> yeah. What if they try to trick us and 9 is actually 6 and 6 is actually 9? Yeah, maybe. Like they, like they put them in upside down. Hey, June. Are you okay? Maybe. I'm sorry. I, I gotta go check on her. What? You finished the box thing, all right? What happened? Uh, um... Just put the cards in the boxes. <laughs> I'm counting on you. So Ace is thinking too. Are you all right? What happened? Can you stand? Oh. It's still so weird to me that he like feels so connected to her, even though apparently they haven't seen each other since elementary just, school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't give me that. Now since like time. since they were like six years old. But yeah. It's true. I, I tripped over a box. Also, just let me see. As a little a little tease about the true ending. Huh. I don't know why, but it's called the June ending. You're still warm. Oh. I saw her fall. I think she really did just trip on something, you know. Still to fall down like that. I have my theories on why people say you gotta play the DS version. Up. All right. Well, let's just get out of here. Yeah, I can't really think can, of much. So we can get you to a hospital. Yep, because I'm like, what else would you do with a touchpad? Doki Doki mode. <laughs> Medicine, huh? Well, if we could get in touch with anyone outside, I'll bet Ace could swing that for you easy. Ace? Why? Huh? Don't you know? He's the president of a pharmaceutical what? company. How do you know that? Cradle Pharmaceuticals is the name, I think. Santa's the most uh, suspicious. 
Yeah. Plus, he also like pulled a gun on somebody in the <laughs> ending that we got. Yeah, in the coffin ending. Sopero. Sopero. I've heard of that before somewhere. And we can. Soparil. We can already like guarantee who's not zero. It's an anesthetic that's a gas at room temperature. A lot like Who? nitrous oxide is. Seven and ace, because they're huge. And zero was tiny. That's true. Ace was a little suspicious though, because remember like he stayed behind? Yeah. And like insisted on it. Only a few so I don't know spread, what that's all about. Even a small amount is very effective. A bunch of countries quickly that or he was just ready to die and police and military forces. yeah it was in that's the thing it's impossible to know which one yeah it was practical ethical and the humane nature of it made it the ideal drug. i think i'll probably uh it's been around on my own time go through and get, clean up the rest of the endings of several different routes <laughs> yeah. the last remaining just for completion's yeah, sake. Almost as soon yeah, as it was just give the rest of them achievementos. Yeah. Might as well. Demand for Soparil skyrocketed. What was it? Uh, of course, that meant cradle pharmaceuticals. I started playing this. Too. Uh, that one F FMV game that PlayStation gave away for free. Why do you know all of this? It was oh, called Erica. Erica? Yeah. I heard yeah. From the old man himself. And then I've been going for the platinum Race. on that. When? I heard it was kind of like hard, or not hard, but time consuming because there's like no skip or something. Yeah, the, there's no like. How Snake Seven and you went to door five? Like way that like you could stop playing it, like that it seems like. Because it's almost just a straight up movie, mm -hmm. where like the only time it, like it slows down is to give you the choice to make. Huh. Mm. Are you worried about something? I'm curious so, about that game. Nothing. I would like to play through it. Yeah, it was interesting. I think it requires like three playthroughs in order to actually platinum. Gotcha. June, don't and it's like two hours of playthrough. Mm -hmm. Yes. But you have to sit. <laughs> you have to sit there for two hours to play it. Mm -hmm. I'll go check on Ace. Looks so like I've only done one playthrough so far, but. Sure. And you kind of got to follow a guide, or else it doing? takes you a lot more playthroughs. Yeah. What happened? I'd imagine. Nothing. I, my vision has gotten rather blurry. I think because of fatigue, I can't see very well at the moment. So then, uh, was it? Brendan and I what played Halo see? Two, in our off time. Yeah. And well, he played it with Camden. I played it alone. Yeah. And pictures. uh, man, because Halo Two was the first Halo I ever played. I don't care yeah. to admit. And I, may be developing press I remember liking it a lot. Then playing like the remastered one. Mm. Ooh, boy, that was good. At any rate, I'll yeah, that was real good. It was really good. It was I'm feeling <laughs> so much, tired, so, if you don't mind, so much like better than Halo One. Yeah, I came out of Halo Two feeling a lot more uh, excited to play the rest of the Halo games than I did coming out of Halo One. Yeah, and then like I was like getting the terminals and stuff, so I got to like delve deeper into the story. Yeah, and uh, like the heretic that. Uh, Oh, this is a flashback to, to the part oh, okay. uh, you hadn't seen. Just a FYI. Faces. Yeah. But, like, there's, like, a terminal that shows that, like, the heretic that you're supposed to go kill in Halo 2 as the Arbiter. Mm -hmm. Like, once he learns of, like, what the rings do and how he turns against the, the Covenant. Yeah. And, like, he knows that, like, the, the Arbiter is going to become the Arbiter. Maybe... Mm -hmm. Maybe he's got and he was like, there's no way we're going to be able to change his mind just by talking to him. Like, he's going to have to see himself, like, for himself. And then you go and kill him. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't much of a puzzle. Oh, it's not even going to have that. Oh, so we don't even do it. Yeah. And then I also, I was telling yeah. oh, Brendan this what the before we started recording. I started playing Gears 5 Nine on the PC. Games. Yep. I guess I'll take them with and uh, playing that game at like 144 FPS makes it look really good. It helps that it already looks really good, but playing it at such a smooth frame rate, mm -hmm. it looks really good. <laughs> I thought about uh, just like diving in and playing it when I get my new TV. 
Uh, yeah. But I was like, eh, I'm just going to play through them all first, but I'm excited to eventually get there. Yeah, because Brennan said he started playing the first Gears. Yeah. Um, I think, and I'm surprised I by how much I actually like it. I'm trying to remember, like, which one it was. It was Gears 2 or 3, where, <laughs> like, all, like, the, the bro dudes I knew in high school were like, Oh, man, I, I cried. I cried. <laughs> and I was just like, get over yourself, bro dudes. <laughs> The right, name so of put the pit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, you go ahead. It's whichever ones you put in. It's like the digital route lights up. Uh... Um. Yeah, the name of Gears of War kind of like implies to me that it would be more of like um, an anti-war like story game, like you know, like the characters are just Gears of War. Yeah. Um, which I'm definitely interested in, but I haven't got him far enough to know if it goes that direction or not or has those kind of themes because war is dumb so <laughs> yeah i like to uh i'm interested in games actually exploring that instead of like call of duty which is just like yeah america we're yeah. the best it... <laughs> <laughs> yeah our war crimes we're gonna we're gonna show that a different country did them Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, if the digital route for the pins you insert is the same as the number on the lights that are lit, those lights turn off. Are, are we supposed to turn them all on? I think so. Wait, you mean you know what we're supposed to do with these lights? Well, no, but I figured we can see if we turn them all on. I figure something's going to happen if we turn them all on. Okay. Then pick one of the pins in your hand and insert it in the hole. Keep it up until all six holes are filled. Correspond to the digital roots of the pins in the upper and lower parts. However, if a digital root corresponds to a light that is already on, then it'll be turned off. Okay, sure. This sounds like it's going to be an annoying puzzle. Yeah. All right, so do Let's we need... Do like that. Do we need all six pins to be in there? Yes, I think that's like the puzzle part of this. Okay. Um, I don't know. Let's just let's just do them randomly for now, and just see like how it works out. You know. Oh, them does have the same digital root, I think. Um, and then we'll do like six, uh, nine, and uh, four. Okay, so we got one okay. and six. So let's do uh, okay. one, three, and five. Uh, no, that's nine, so we don't want that. Yeah, you don't want that. Uh, can you do... So we'll do eight. Okay. Um, and then... Can do uh, two, six, and seven. Oh, I thought that nope. was five, but I think that was actually six. My bad. Well, let's do one, two, three to get six back. And then maybe we can do four, five, and six. Um, what's that? Um, that's uh, nine, oh, that's 15. six. <laughs> so that's six. So I don't want to do that. Uh, can you so do four, five, and seven? Yeah, I think nine, sixteen. That'd be that's six again, right? No, seven. Yeah. Yeah. I'm forgetting you're you're adding the two numbers that yeah. come together. Yeah. Um, all right, what about uh, nine, six, and like eight? That would be five, right? Um, 17, 23, yeah. Yeah. Wait, did I do that right? Uh, yeah, that's what I wanted, right? Nine, eight, and 15, six. 15, 23, yeah. And then. And then. Five, seven, and one to get four. Four, I think so. It sounds right. So now can we get two and three on the same one? Um, All right. Uh, you can do what is it? Uh, three, five, and six. Oh, wait, no. Uh, six. 
three, five, and four. And that'll give you thirteen, right? Um, three, five, and uh, that'll give us twelve, which will do. Oh, that, that, which will three would okay. be the digital roots. So we do want that. Um. So now we need Man. two. So we need to get to eleven or twenty-one. So no, we need to get twenty, right? Uh, yeah, two. yeah, yeah. Eleven or twenty, yeah. So you can do nine and two. Oh, I know you need to do all three pins, though, right? Yep. So eight, two, and one. Yep. All right. F. F. And then a place for nine pins. Okay. Okay, so we've got nine holes, and there's an F above them. Yep, there's nine holes. <laughs> wow. Thanks, Santa. <laughs> um, I mean, let's just put them all in and see what happens, I guess. Yeah. What letter of the alphabet is F? Six? Yes, I believe. Whoops. Yes. That does sound correct. What? Yeah. <laughs> so we gotta get 15. Does that mean we want all three rows to be 15? Maybe. It's like a like a Sudoku, Sudoku puzzle, but we're adding everything. Yeah, uh, so we're gonna be one, nine, and five. Um, was that eight, three, and four? Yeah, and then six, seven, and two. Yep, should be good. No. That didn't work. Uh, what did we have? One, five, and nine. Oh, wait, because we were adding it up to 15. We got to get it to 14, right? And then it's 15, right? Well, no, that would be five. What are we doing? I think we do want it to be 15, but I think it needs to be vertical also. Maybe. Uh, okay. So let's just put them all back in how we had them and then rearrange them. Um, it was eight, three eight, and four. four. Yeah. All right, so that's 11 on the first row down. Yeah. So um, we could switch these two. And then now that's 15. And then you got 10 on the second row down. Yep. And so we could switch these two. And That's good, right? Those would all be, yeah, that would all be 15. 15, 15. All right. <laughs> Nothing. Son of a bitch! Every line of three pins needs to add up to 15. That's what we what have. What are we doing? Uh, Maybe it has to be diagonal? <laughs> Um, I feel like you also need it diagonally. Yeah. All right, let's figure this out again. Um. All right, this one's eleven right here. This first one. I don't know which one you're talking about. Yeah, you can't see my cursor. Um. Uh, so that's good on the first. Well, uh, going column. diagonally, it's 11. The first column is good. Every row should be good. Let's look at the second column. We got 11. So we need five more so we can switch these two. I wonder that. if it's like they want you to have like them in like a specific way, not just necessarily adding up to 15. Like they need to be in there like... 
in a, like specific number slots. Maybe. Um, uh, going down on the third row, we gotta gotta fix that. Yeah, same with the second one. I think actually I messed that up. So yeah. first column is good. Second column is eleven, so we need four more. So that takes care of that, and then the third column is also good <laughs> which, now. Which I'm pretty sure is how we've had it before, wasn't it? I think so. Or did we like? But or did we change them around a little bit to get the same exact thing again? Yeah, I think we did. Uh, like I said, maybe now we need it diagonally. Which, um, which going be... from left to right is good, actually. Going from right to left is not. No. It's... What do we got there? Um, uh, you have 24. like 20... Yeah. Um, whoops. <laughs> I didn't mean to click uh -oh. out of that. Uh, every land three pins needs to add up. This part's hard. Yeah. So I think... I think even diagonally it needs to add up to 15. Yeah. So we had one so five. I think nine. I think we should work on mm -hmm. the diagonals first. Okay. And then um, we can just add in where else we need them. Maybe I'll put five there. Because nine's really screwing up the diagonal. Yeah. Um eight, three, and four. And so let's put eight in the middle, two right here. So you need a. So diagonal should be. No, because well, you this have. This diagonal is good, but not that one. Yeah. 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 You need to put the six there, yeah. But then going downward in the middle, that's too much. Yeah, all the columns are messed up. Um. So we need to fix the columns without fixing, without changing the diagonals, if that's even possible. <laughs> Which, yeah, I don't think it is. Um, let's see. Maybe nope. Can't can't touch that one. <laughs> uh, what if we? Oh, I think the nine, like if we're trying to keep it like the columns where they are, or the diagonals, mm -hmm. then the, I think the nine has to stay for sure. Um, yeah, I mean, the we problem gotta... is we can't really fix anything. Yeah. Nothing can move except the four and the three can move, but that doesn't unless really we, help us. Unless we can get like a different... Uh, diagonal combination yeah looks like that's what we're gonna have to do is keep trying to figure out what diagonal combination works here so maybe we let's try putting the nine here and the can you put the three in the middle Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, works. this will well, this will do it on this one. Yeah. And you have. And then this. You will need help a that different one. one. Yeah. But, I mean, it still isn't good enough. Right. Yeah. None of them are right. <laughs> yeah. Um. What if you change? That's like all you can do, but it doesn't really help anything. What, well, what if you? Yeah. Ah, ah. Um. Um. I mean, we might need to. We've only been sticking to these same rows. We might need to just switch up the rows too. Yeah. Um. I mean, let's just try some different combinations. It just seems like a lot of a. Uh, trial and error really yeah for sure 
Um, well, the diagonal going right is good, but the uh, first column down is not right. Third column down is not, is right. not right. Man, this one is uh, difficult. Yeah. Well, this episode's running pretty long, so maybe we can finish this up <laughs> off camera and we'll get back to it. Yeah. So we'll see you guys on the next one. All right. See ya. Bye.